We're back on Warmer Plus. There's more exciting content for you. But before then, a special birthday wish going out to you, Honorable Mujib, former Assemblyman for Clagon Electoral Area. This one is from Matilda, and she's wishing you many more years of good health and prosperity. And she says to stay absolutely blessed. Now, we have another footballer in the house. This guy is, you know, gentle, Jack, you know, feeling cool on the groove. <laughs> <laughs> but also a very, 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 very talented player. Help me welcome. This time I'll not attempt to pronounce the club. He pronounces himself for me. But help me welcome Joseph Lawe Atama. Joseph, good morning. Good morning. So good to have you. Thank you. Uh, you calm, gentle, Jack. Like you, always. Ah, like always, that's uh, right. Mm. You mentioned the club and let me attempt it. Okay, my I club that I play uh, is Kaiser Ispo. Kaiser Ispo. Yeah. Mm. I butcher it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, how are you feeling? Welcome, welcome to the I'm step, good. first of all. And thank you once again. Mm. Are you on a break? Yeah, I'm on a break now. So you're back in Ghana for how long? I don't know. You don't because know? Because I'm here, but I, I'll just wait for the club to send me uh, the day that we have to start. And then, I'll just and then you go back. Yep. But are you at least relaxing? Are you taking advantage of the opportunity to, you know, connect with family and friends, fans in Ghana? Just Yeah, chill. but uh, then uh, I was injured at the end of the season, so I have to do treatment here. So that is what I'm like focusing on now. Mm. But get I, I get a chance track. to like visit friends and family and other people that I, I knew. Just how bad was the injury for you? It's very bad because um, I would say our last game in the cup final, I didn't find it easy. Like I was losing everything. Like every position that I go, I feel very pain in my knee and I didn't have power in my left leg. So it like, I couldn't feel myself in the game, but I just have to, you know, focus and try to get something out of it. Mm. Definitely. Joseph, um, let's, let's just uh, talk a bit about your season. I mean, uh, you've just spoken about the, the last game and how not so good it went for you. Mm -hmm. But how would you rate the season? How did it go for you? Yeah, I would say the season was good for me because um, mm. from the beginning, things weren't going on well for, for me as a player mm. because uh, our first game, we lost and they end up changing the coach and we had a new coach so we started everything i started to play and it it got to a time the coach has to just pinch me for no reason and mm -hmm. i have to you know struggle asking him what have i done wrong like mm -hmm. what did i do in the game that he he like he didn't like, he didn't like yeah. but at the end of the day he gave me like no tangible reason for that so mm -hmm. i just have to focus on my training mm -hmm. try to convince him a in training mm -hmm. session yeah. so that I'll be back on the pitch again. Right. So I would say it's a great like season for me. It's been a great season. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, um, playing, in, playing in Turkey, um, uh, I, yeah, I've seen that there are many Ghanaian players who have played in Turkey and they always tell me that the fans are extremely passionate yeah. and it's very, very tough, especially in, in, in certain games. How would you rate the, the, the Turkish league and how, how does it go for you? Yeah, I would say, I would say uh, Turkish league is, I think, uh, if you are rating the league, I think it will be in uh, five mm -hmm. because um, it's, it's a very top uh, league. Right. If you watch it outside, you may think it's a, a, like an easy mm -hmm. league that we are mm -hmm. playing in, but as right. soon as you get in, you see that no, it's not easy it's because difficult. it's very, very difficult and mm -hmm. it's all about like, you know, running up and down like tactics and everything is in. Mm. You know, it's not like Spain now, you can see that they play with more with the ball, mm -hmm. but in Turkey, it's 50-50. You have to run a lot. Uh -huh. Amazing. And That's if you don't run a lot, that is it for you. Right. <laughs> I mean, Joseph, you've made about like, 37 appearances, yeah. scored two goals and assisting uh -huh. there, been deployed in like a number of, you know, positions, exploring different angles and things. Would you say that you've improved as a player and where would you conventionally feel more comfortable playing? Yeah, I would say I've really, really improved, but I'm not there yet mm. as a football player because I wanted to be there. Maybe I would say 50% now. And playing in a multiple uh, position is, is very difficult for me, but that is uh, not where I started from. I started way back when I was in, uh, in Tema, Royal Andalit. Mm. Our coach used to, you know, uh, switch some of the players. Today, when you come to training, you you put in a different position to play so that he, and we asked a question like, why are you doing this? And he said, that, yeah, we, he do this because in the game, maybe we'll have a problem and he have to switch the place yeah. so that he will not find it like Someone difficult. Could get a red card. Yes, mm. so that he will just switch the, the position so that maybe if you're playing as a midfielder, he will just switch, then you play Your as role, a stopper. You just be yeah, to. then you'll be okay with it. So that is where everything started from. So 
But that's it that was, confuse you sometimes. No, not at all. No, not at all. Because as a football player, you have to be smart in mm, every position prepared. that yeah, and be prepared in every position that you play. So for me, I would say that it's it's it has really helped me a lot, a lot, like mm. a lot because all the clubs that I I I play for. I will start in a different position, then I will end in a different they position. More, more experience along mm -hmm. the line. But you see, when I asked you, you said that you are not there yet. And that yeah. just speaks to the kind of ambition that you have. But at 28, would you say that you've reached your peak? You see, I would say about like, I'm about starting to, to reach there. Mm. Yeah. Because I can, I can see myself that like I have more mm. to, to play and I have more, like, there is more to, to take out there. Back at your club, have you been able to, you know, connect with the players? So, have you experienced any language barriers or? Yeah, you know, yeah, I was talking about language, <laughs> food. I mean, what are some of the barriers that you face? Oh, no, like you know, the the funny thing is, um, the Turkish guys when mm. they see you, they they try to, they also want to learn the language. Like okay. they want to learn uh, the English, mm. and we also, I also want to learn the language. But like, mm. I find it difficult to learn because they always want me to speak English with them. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, because they want to learn. Mm -hmm. okay. So that is that is a disadvantage for me as in like learning their language. Mm. But everything is okay. Like, how, how about the food? Uh, the food is perfect. It's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. What Trust are some me. of the meals that but, they but, eat? Like but, it's similar. But you don't get kinky. Oh. I eat kinky. Oh, you eat kinky there? Yeah. You eat kinky? Really? Yeah. There's, I eat there's kinky. kinky. I eat fufu. Oh, really? And who? Uh -huh. We eat fufu. Yes. Oh. <laughs> do, you, do you prepare that yourself, Joseph? Yeah, I do. Sometimes. <laughs> so you can't cook? Uh-huh. Hey. No, trust so me. So who makes the kinky? I want to do that. No, for the kinky, you know what we do? <laughs> no, for the kinky, like... Uh, let, let's take it like when when I come for like uh, maybe a break when we have a break okay. and I come. Oh, are you yeah, you okay. know, just package it. Oh, okay. And yeah. how do you store it? You just keep it in the fridge. Mm. Fridge. Uh huh. Yeah. And then when you're ready, you just boil it a little. That is it. And then it's ready to go. Sharp. And the fufu you go do am meat. <laughs> you go do am meat fufu. Asujo. Which way soup? For me, I prefer Ghana soup. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because. And you prepare that Ghana soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? I, you know when I, I have how. You know what? After that, I'll. I'll, I'll you you yeah. behind yeah. the scenes, <laughs> behind the scenes, I'll just, the Joseph recipe. I'll be delivering it on the show next week. I'll just drop it there for you. But I mean, you were, you were telling us about your experience in Tema. Just, yeah, just my experience in Tema, like, is 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 always good. Like, you know, because uh, where I started from, we have mm. a lot of players there. But I, I managed to to go through out like from there to, you know, starting football in Tema wasn't easy for me because. Yeah. Uh, I started in uh, Royal Underlet, where at that time it's coast, coast time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I wasn't taking things serious. I was just like, just going there to play, like having fun, you yeah. know. And so you didn't take it as a seri your profession. Yeah, your career I didn't take it like time. serious. So one day I went to training, and uh, one guy just approached me, and he was like, "Why is it that you always come to training, but when it's time for the league game, you don't play?" And I was like, "Be safe. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm just." Like play like yeah, like we be a moving to have to just play. Yeah. And he was like, no, 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 no. Like from today onwards, you have to take everything serious. You're playing with the purpose. And I was like, really? He said yes, yes, because you have a lot that you have to prove to people outside there. And I was like, okay, so that is where I started from. So that was the okay. conversation. That was the motivation, the boost that you needed to. So I joined the team. You know, the funny thing is when when it's time for them to when it's the league time, and they want like even away game, I'll just tell them that. Yeah, you know, uh, I have problem in the house. I have to stay because my mom will send me to go and buy this. Then I'll give some excuse. Then I'll just run away because I don't want to play. So one day the guy was like monitoring me and he was like, today, you're not going anywhere. You join the team. And I was like, okay, let's go. So we went and I played and I was perfect. Everything was perfect for me. And he, he called me back and he said, uh, how did you see yourself in the game? And I was like, yeah, I, I did. I think I did very good. And he's like, yes, this is you. So what you're just, supposed to be doing. Yes. Was that an issue with school for you as well? No, no, no. Like far from school. Mm. And he's like, this is what you have to do. So you left school behind? No, I was going to school at the same time. Here and there. Football. The yeah. balance, was it difficult? Yeah, the balance, it wasn't difficult for me, but... A la shock. Some <laughs> goes on like... Oh, no, it wasn't hey, difficult. No, 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 stop, oh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. No, no, it's true because it Shark. wasn't, no, no, it wasn't difficult Shark. for me because mm. I played in the school sports. I always, like, mm. represent my, uh, mm. my school. The school, okay. Yes, so it wasn't difficult. See, he's tried to make it seem like he's not a shark, but I'll go and check the records. You can go and check. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't difficult at all. Like, right. I managed to finish uh, SS. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't difficult. While playing football as uh -huh. well, dedicating your time to those two. And then you did it. Why don't you tell us about Tema Youth? Wow. Wow. 
it's not an easy like you know Temayuch has actually come a very long way mm. when even when I was there like things wasn't easy for us but we were seeing we're seeing the slide mm -hmm. being displayed right now things the wasn't, yeah. things the wasn't easy like when I was there but with our squad we, we managed to to qualify you broke through what, yes. did, what, did, what did the club teach you what did Tamayu teach you you as know a Tamayu will give you the chance he'll give you the platform to play football mm. you know because Palmer Long love like young players mm -hmm. and he made us to understand that, like when we play when he he will he will tell that you don't have money mm. i will give you the chance to play mm. okay so when you play and you play good you end up a call up in the national team mm. so that was the like the motive mm -hmm. that was our motivation right. that we have like okay i have to kill it and go to the national team mm. and we did it right. our time mostly so, me mostly so jay jeremy Ankofo, francis na and mm. uh derek mesa okay we did yeah. it. We qualified the team to very, very good players. Yes, yeah. we qualified the team, and we end up being in the national team. Amazing. Under twenty. Amazing. The five, like five of us. Five of us. Amazing. Now, 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 Joseph. I mean, um, that that experience in the national team. Um, how did it go for you? And what opportunities did you get from playing in that under twenty team? Yeah, I would say the opportunity that I get is um, I end up uh, being in Turkey mm -hmm. now, yeah, okay. because we went to Algeria. We managed to qualify to the World Cup under 20, mm. and we went to Turkey, yeah. and we played there, and we waited. Okay. So that is where everything comes from. Okay. So, so it opened a door. Yeah, into, it into actually yeah, for opened you. a door okay. for me in Turkey. Now, what what memories do you have playing in that you know under 20 team? I mean, you, you just mentioned that you went there to finish third and stuff like that. Do you are you still in contact with with the boys? Yes. Mm. I think I think almost mm. almost like the guys. I'm in contact, like, I have, con I have their contact. Yeah. Sometimes you talk, I know it's difficult, like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. they play in their league, I also play in my league, yeah. and it's very difficult to communicate. But mm -hmm. the, little, the little time that we have, no, we try to, like, send a message, hey, bro, what's up, how are you, yeah. how is the season going with you? Oh, I see that, like, you've not been playing, like, what yeah. is going on? Mm. You know, we try our possible to communicate with right. each other. Let's, let's, let's okay. talk about the Black Stars. Is it tough? <laughs> just started breaking out in a smile <laughs> as soon as you mentioned it. No, the, I don't think it's tough. You don't think so? Mm -mm. At okay. all? No, no, no. Mm. I say it's same uh, football. Okay. And nothing changes. It's the same. No, but no, I, I'm, I'm only asking because you know the thing about the thing about Turkey is that playing in Turkey and I mean me as a Ghanaian or many Ghanaian football fans watching you in uh -huh. Turkey might not care so much about you know, whether you did great or you did poor or whatever. But if you're playing for the for Black Stars, there's, there's a lot more criticism. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, now yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's tough because, uh, you know, the fans, for example, you also, you may watch the game and yeah. you say like, ah, you know this guy, but mm. today he's playing like very bad. You yeah. always say something right. in a good way. Mm. That like, even when the player hear, hear of it now, he will take it in a good phase. Okay. Right. But some people yeah, others, yeah. will say a lot of, like full things. Yeah, like mm. you, even when you when you when you think of it now, like you know you even get an answer to it, like it will mm. make you feel like you know what, let me forget, forget about the national team. Yeah. What what have you heard about yourself that has made oh, you feel very bad? A lot. Mm. A lot. A lot. But like you know, I just have to just forget about them mm. and move forward because right. at the end of the day, they are not putting uh, food on my table. table yeah. I'm doing everything by myself. Right. They don't know me in person now. Mm. Do so, you do you check your social media? Do you check No, I don't. Is that a strategy to stay away from those? Yeah, I think. Because for me, I don't do uh, Facebook. I don't do Twitter. And most, like, now, Twitter, like, when you go there, you post something, actually. The insult and everything will come now. It's already yeah, yeah. more. I don't do Twitter. Right. So you do just Instagram? Just Instagram. Okay. And Instagram, I don't, I don't normally go there. I just go there to watch people's story, then I'll, mm. I'll go back. <laughs> or maybe after one of like our game that I played, I just put something there, and that is and it. And how would you connect with your fans then? Because not everybody who has direct access to you. So most of the time, they want to send you a DM, they want to mention you. They oh want yeah, to like send when you send me message on on Facebook, I have a, a friend mm -hmm. of mine that take care of it. He mm -hmm. will tell me that hey, someone oh, okay. has sent you a Facebook message. Also, oh, you have a social media manager, yeah, of, so yeah. you don't have to deal with the negativity personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's that's quite a good strategy mm -hmm. then. No, but no, but I, I think I think it's, it's it's good for him because I mean everybody's different, you know. So if he can't handle it, and he has someone, but 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 Joseph, um, um, also again about about the Black Stars. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm very I'm very um, cons concerned about the Black Stars because I, f I feel like 
you know, the time when you were when you were in, in. the team was um, was quite a tough time because mm -hmm. at that time, you know, we're still trying to get things right and, yeah. and you were in the mix. And so um, it became like a lot more difficult to find your feet in, in the in Blasters the, team. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What, what, what would you make of now and getting back into the team? Yeah, what I have to do is um, now I have to focus on my club side more. Mm. Okay. Try and, uh, you know, get my position in my club side. Mm. Try to get a playing time. Yeah. And not just a playing time, like to play very good very on good, the yeah. pitch. Yeah. To yes. give, like, performance. My performance has to be, to be 100% on the uh, pitch of play. Mm. And after, I know with that, I'll get a chance to the call like to the right. national team and do it as well i mean still on what y'all said there mm -hmm. were talks that you know because yeah played you out of position was that yeah the case? 2017 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you know i've played that in that position before okay yeah and it wasn't a difficult position for me but at that time on the field of play you know something happened in which i thought if my teammate was a little bit faster to cover the issue that happened. Okay. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be a, some, it's not gonna be it's gonna create a problem for me. Mm. But I see that like okay, they were late. Maybe that is for me, if I was in their position, the way I would think that is no way they are going it to be think. different. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's gonna be a different thing altogether. Mm. But I'm not saying that like they sell me out or or they didn't cover me, or they didn't do the right thing for me. Mm. It's football, anything can happen, and right. it just happened like this. Mm. And you have, you no, know, uh, like, you cannot explain. It's mm. just happening, no, and you it cannot say that, you can, just yeah, you cannot say that, okay, I wish, like, I can do this, but it has already happened. Mm. So, it has happened, so that is it, we take it cool. And we move on from yeah, that. Yeah, we move on, and since then, like, you know, things have been difficult for me, like he said, mm. and I was just trying to, you know, whenever I get a call up, I come, I don't be getting the play time that I will go, come back again. You know, it's like on and off. When I come, they don't give me the chance. The only time that I'll, I'll get a chance to play is when we have a friendly game. Mm. Yeah, there then I'll play 90 minutes. Mm. 90 and when minutes. it actually counts then? But when it comes to the qualifiers, then we just... You don't get the opportunity you know, I don't get a, the opportunity to play. Or would you like to work? Now that Otto is at the wheel, <laughs> would you like to, you know, work with him? Yeah. Uh, for me, when he call me today, I'll go. Mm. If I'm fit. At yeah. the drop of a hat, you go. Yeah. Mm. But no, I'm not fit. Mm. But it, they, they just called me uh, in the Japan game, but yeah. I, mm. I wasn't fit right. because of my knee injury. Mm. But, that, but that but must hurt, though. Yeah. yeah. But but I think I think that's that's one of the things that I really admire about you is, is that you've you've never turned down a call. No. Never. And and, and, it's and you know, it's, and it's the funny thing is, always late late call up. Like they will call a player and he will not come, then they'll mm. end up calling me late. Okay. But you but, still but don't you take it to heart. Yeah, I always come. He doesn't seem like the type, like you move on. If there's a setback, you just move on from that. You don't take a lot of things. I mean, because the thing is, that's how opportunities work, you know. I know, Kawhi, not everybody's designed like that. There are certain <laughs> things that will hurt your feelings. You want to show people, you want to just, you know. Yeah, I know, but I know. Yeah. But like, yeah. you know, you actually say at the end of the day, when you do that, you know, what will you gain? Mm. Absolutely nothing. That is it. Mm. But just so let's, let's come home. Ghana Premier League. Do you still watch the Ghana Premier League? Uh, <laughs> I find it difficult to watch. You mm. do? Trust me. Like, yeah. I just have to be honest. That's, that's, very, that's very honest. I mean, it's a difficult watch. <laughs> <laughs> Even for us as journalists, it's a very difficult watch. God. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the Premier League uh, fixtures Fictions. are on the screen at the moment. Eliana Stars will face the BNE Gold Stars. Ashanti Gold will take on Bechim United. Brickham Chelsea face Dreams FC. Olympics take on Accra Hearts of Oak. Olympics Hearts of Oak. Mm. Mm. Kawawa, well, why are you doing... But I'm not, I'm not. Joseph, I'm not choose your of, next words uh, carefully. You're, you're not a fan. Hey, you're not a fan, yeah, but, yeah, but the Olympics have okay. to be. No, hey. no, no, I wish, I wish. Uh, uh, Joseph. Joseph. Are you, uh, you, you know, just. She's, she's a hearts fan. I'm an Olympics fan. Uh, so, yeah. okay. which side are you? The play good wins. <laughs> Joseph, what sort of answer is that? What <laughs> Lagos City is going to take on Karela. I don't, I don't want to say actually winning or oh, say Olympics. Winning. No, you choose one. No, I cannot choose one. Because maybe I'll end up being in the stadium. You, when watch. you are giving me the Grano Super CPU, you choose that support. <laughs> okay, maybe, yeah. Maybe then Lagos, I'll give you some Vim then. So yeah. Lagos City is going to take on Karela. Mediama uh, will also face Accra Lions. Real Tamale United will face King Faisal. Wafa will face 11 Wonders. And Asante Kotoko is Coronation Sunday. Uh, they will be crowned Premier League champions on 
Sunday at the Babaya Stadium when they take on Elmina Sharks there. Kwame Eugene is performing. So if you're in Kumasi and you know, you've not heard about it, you should be at the stadium just to uh, watch and you know, have some fun. And also hear, oh, Kumasi. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Kumasi and Tante Kotoko uh, winning the league from Hartsville. But Joseph, just before you go, though, um, you know, like Hans did, saying thank you to many people. I'm sure you have quite you a have some things out there. A lot. Yeah. So, so I, cannot, I, I cannot mention their names. So you cannot mention their names? Yeah, because right. maybe I'll end up mentioning my person's name. <laughs> and then leave another person and out. Yeah. As soon as I get out, I'll get a call and say, hey, so you came and see me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Joseph, leave some words of encouragement. You know, there are a lot of players that are trying to break through. They mm. want to make it. There are a lot of people mm. who take things to heart. Like, yeah. well, what's your advice there's, to them? There's, yeah, a, there's a player in Tema like you. You know, ah, for sure. who, exactly. Who, who who really wants to to, to be yeah, like? Yeah, for me, I would say uh, they shouldn't uh, give up mm. in everything that they do, especially mm. when they play football. And they have to be patient. Patience counts a lot. Mm. Maybe today you maybe call, you not get a chance to play. Mm. Then you say that, hey, why is it that they didn't play me? You just have to be patient. Keep working hard. Focus on your dream. And I know one day when you give it a chance. You keep chasing. You're gonna kill it. I mean, just so that's a really good one. Thank you. Thank you, Hans, for you know my share. You know what I was saying earlier with him? It's no magic. It's about hard work, dedication, <laughs> patience. You know, <laughs> Joseph has been dropping stuff. So thank you so much, Hans. I, know, for this. I really just appreciate before, it. Just before we go, though, Joseph, um, your social, social media, media handles. We need so, it. Yeah, you know, your fans can follow you. Yeah. Joseph Atama official. Even though he will mm. let his social media manager reply, but me, I'll DM. <laughs> ah, so you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Atama would, 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 would follow, would follow, right. would follow. So Joseph Atama on Instagram. Yeah, Joseph, Joseph Atama official, official yeah. on Instagram. Right. Oh, I found him. So so you should you should follow him. Um, you know, just give him some words of encouragement, please. No hate. No you. hate. No Enough hate. of that. Enough That's of just... the hate. Just give him some words of encouragement and urge him on um, as he continues his career. He's going back to Turkey and there's a lot of you know stress that comes with playing football. So please give him some words of encouragement on his social. And we're media. praying for his knee. We're yeah. praying for quick healing. We're, we're praying healing. for um, Joseph exactly. exactly. You know, so so that he gets fit again and gets gets back onto the pitch. But this has been Warm Up Plus right here on TV3. Just watch us every uh, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. I mean, thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Ellie's Collection, for my beautiful outfit. And like y'all said, it's Walmart Plus. Join us same time next week, Saturday, from 11 a.m. all through to 12 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>